There might be a, um, a little box that has writing on it in your screen that's going to go away in just a moment. All right, we are on the record calling State of Michigan versus Michael Wayne Ganaway, G-A-N-A-W-A-Y. I am Magistrate Stephanie Godsey with the 55th Judicial District Court for Ingham County. Today is Saturday, January 13th, 2024. It is 10.57 a.m. This is a weekend remote arraignment. And we do have Mr. Ganaway appearing before the court via video conference from the Ingham County Jail for a felony arraignment. Um, Ms. Vashon, good morning, ma'am. Your appearance, please. Morning, Your Honor. Melissa Vashon um, from the Public Defender's Office on behalf of Mr. Ganaway for purposes of arraignment while he appears separately by video. Thank you, Ms. Vashon. All right, Mr. Ganaway, the court does have before it a one count felony criminal complaint against you that complaint alleges that on or about today's date, January 13th of 2024, at a location described as in Lansing Township, Ingham County and state of Michigan. Allegations are that the defendant did, contrary to law in count one, did willfully and without authority take possession of and drive or take away or did assist in or was a party to such taking possession driving or taking away of a motor vehicle that being an automobile belonging to Clifford Smith this is referred to as unlawful driving away of a motor vehicle it is a felony offense it is normally punishable it's normally punishable by up to five years in prison. However, take notice you are being charged um, pursuant to the habitual offender fourth offense notice. That notice alleges that defendant was previously convicted of three or more felonies or attempts to commit felonies. And more specifically, on or about May 19 of 2022, uh, the defendant was convicted of uh, resist, obstruct, assault a police officer in violation of state law out of my court, the 55th District Court. Further allegations are that on or about September 30th of 2015, defendant was convicted of assault of a prison employee in viol violation of state law in the 30th Circuit Court for Ingham County. And then finally, also out of the Ingham County Circuit Court on or about January 7th of 2015, defendant was convicted of aggravated stalking. Therefore, defendant is subject to the penal penalties provided by state law, in this case, up to life in prison. If the primary offense has a penalty of five years or more, the maximum penalty cannot be less than the maximum term for a first conviction. Mr. Ganaway, do you understand the criminal complaint as it has been read to you here this morning, as well as the maximum penalties? Yes, I do understand. Okay, where, very well. Where's the uh, where's the uh, the old question of of uh, of uh, me for surely knowing the 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 that is 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 irrelevant. Okay, all right. Um, Miss Vishan, is Mister Ganaway requesting your office in this matter? Yes, Your Honor. All right, and are you demanding preliminary exam? Yes, Your Honor. All right, both of those uh, matters have been noted in the court file. Mr. Ganaway, Mr. Ganaway, your case is pending in the 55th District Court. You are scheduled to appear before our court in person on Tuesday, January 23rd of 2024 at 8.30 in the morning. That is for a probable, probable cause conference. And then one week later, your case is scheduled for a preliminary exam on Tuesday, January 30th at 9.30 in the morning. Again, if you are not in custody, you are required to appear in person for both of those court dates. 
Miss Vishan on bond. Yes, Your Honor, I'd request a personal reconnaissance bond for Mr. Ganaway. He does have um, ties to the area. He lives in Lansing. He's lived here for quite some time, and he did provide contact information, so I'd request a PR bond. Thank you, Ms. Bishan. Um, all right, Mr. Ganaway, some of your bond conditions are that you are required to report to Ingham County Pretrial Services within 48 hours of your release from custody. You, you know, that is a phone call. You'll be provided that agency's contact information. You just simply need to call them within two days of your release. You are not to purchase, possess, or consume any alcohol, no illegal drugs, no marijuana. You're going to be subject to random drug and alcohol testing. You're not to purchase or possess any dangerous weapons, especially no firearms, no guns, no ammunition. You are not besides, to... Besides Pardon me? the ones I already have, right? No. If you have any firearms, they must be transferred to a third party for safe keeping. They already, already did that. Already did that. All right, very well. You are not to assault, harass, intimidate, beat, molest, wound, stalk, threaten. Um, Clifford, Clifford Smith. Also, you are to have no contact, direct or indirect, with Clifford Smith. Oh, my car. We're going to get to that in a moment. So with regard to Mr. Smith, I want to make sure the record is very clear. You are not to have any contact, no phone calls, no jail phone calls, not, not in person, in writing, no social media, texting, emailing. You are also prohibited from trying to reach out to Mr. Smith through somebody else. That's indirect contact, also prohibited. I am required to inform you if you if you are found to have violated the court's no contact order, you'll be immediately rearrested. You could thereafter be charged with contempt of court. You are not to enter onto the property located Township, the court is going to permit you to go there one time to retrieve necessary personal property, which would include your car if you have a car there. But this is really important, Mr. Ganaway. You can go there one time, and when you go there, you must have a police officer present, physically present with you from the time you arrive to the time that you leave. Any questions about that? No, Your Honor. Okay, and then finally, you are to update the 55th District Court with the address where you're going to be residing within 24 hours of being released from the jail. The court needs to know the address where you will be. You can just call our court and let them know that. Now, on the issue of the bond itself, the court must consider two factors. Those aren't the only factors the court can consider, but by law, it what must. Was it? What, what, what? Excuse oh, me? you're accusing me of you're accusing me of what? Well, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm arraigning you. I didn't bring for this what? case against for you. For what, Your Honor? For what, Your Honor? For for driving. I would like to know. Yep, unlawful driving away of an automobile, taking a car. What? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. It's standing up here. It's standing a little clear for me. Taking a motor vehicle without permission. Oh, that's it? That's the charge? That's the charge. Thank you. Yes. You're okay, welcome. you're welcome. With regard to bond, the court must consider risk of flight, whether Mr. Ganaway is likely to come to court as scheduled, and the court must also consider public safety. The court does note that there is a pretty extensive uh, prior criminal history for Mr. Ganaway. Three felonies have been used to enhance this complaint. And Felony it, charges, Your Honor. Looks like that criminal history has um, continued, continued through very recently, um, 2022. Um, also in this case, what's concerning to the court, and these are allegations, Mr. Ganaway is presumed to be innocent, but for purposes of addressing bond, this is fair game for the court to consider. 
According to the arresting officers, Mr. Ganaway made some comments that made them um, worry about his um, mental health, that it appeared he might be having some sort of a psychiatric episode that included threats against officers, and I do note that he has a prior conviction. Absolutely not. Please. Okay, the bond's, the bond's going to be a $50,000 cash or surety bond for those reasons, public safety primarily. Anything additional, Ms. Bashan? No, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Mr. Ganaway, you're all set with the court. Good luck to you, sir. Take care. Thanks for the bond, the PR bond, yeah. It's not a PR bond. It's a $50,000 goodness. Dollar cash or surety bond. She said the PR, yes. Okay. It's not a PR. Take care, sir. I'm Goodness, goodness, goodness. Yeah.